Hello everyone, this is going to be a short demo on the new Guru Bootloader Reset Tool. Here we're starting with uh, my bootloader, which may be a little bit different from yours. As you can see, I'm running the Dark Boot um, bootloader. This uh, bootloader is available on my website if you like it better than the standard white. Uh, it's a little hard to see because it is the dark version, but we do in fact have the tampered flag at the very top and right now we're in a status of unlocked. So we can show how we can easily go ahead and toggle these by running that tool. And we'll go ahead and boot into recovery. Um, this will work in both Clockwork Mod and TWRP, although I do prefer TWRP. Uh, seems to work a little better and um, just all around find it a little bit better uh, recovery environment. So all we have to do is choose install and we're going to choose the bootloader reset zip file and go ahead and start the installation. It's going to go ahead and pop up the splash screen and start our aroma installer. Show us our version and you can see um, this, this tool will work for all of the variants of the HTC One. So that's going to be uh, all of the GSM variants, the U and the UL, as well as the Sprint WLS and the Verizon WLV. So we choose next here and we just have to accept our terms of uh, use. And then we have our credits page. It was a big thanks to uh, Scotty1223 for his help in some of the commands and uh, S-Trace who originally discovered some of the uh, values and locations uh, that we're editing. So here's our main screen with all of the options. Um, in our case we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to remove tampered. So we'll go ahead and select tampered uh, to remove it. And uh, we also saw that I was at an unlocked state, so we can go ahead and lock us back. Now there are two options, both relock and lock, and that's essentially just what it's going to show in the bootloader screen. Both of them are essentially a locked bootloader, and I'm not sure why anyone would actually want to run the relocked, but um, I'm a man who likes to provide options, so it's in the menu in case anybody does want to set it back to relocked for whatever reason. So we're removing our tampered flag and locking our bootloader and just select next and go ahead and install. <clears throat> and here we can see um, the first uh, or the main issue that one might encounter when uh, running this package which is you try to install it and it doesn't actually begin uh, it just sits on installing uh, even though I uh, as part of the script tell it to wipe the cache before beginning a lot of times if there's junk left over in the cache um, it won't actually start our actions so we're going to go ahead and wipe our cache I figured it'd be a good example to do this to show people. We're just holding down power and volume down until we get to our bootloader screen. And here we're going to choose to re enter recovery. Sorry for the bad focus. Once we're in recovery, uh, we can simply wipe the cache uh, in TWRP and you can go to um, wipe and I like to just do advanced wipe and we're just going to choose to wipe the cache. Same option is available in Clockwork Mod, but I have found that in Clockwork Mod when you wipe the cache, you actually have to reboot the entire recovery environment. Um, that generally doesn't seem to be the case with TWRP. So we've just wiped the cache and we'll go ahead and just start that installer once more. Oops.
and we'll speed through this and take those exact same options of just removing the tamper flag and locking the bootloader hit next and install and now look at that it worked uh, it's very quick each of the commands only takes about one second so it shouldn't take you very long um, you can go ahead and hit next it says you know our actions were successful and check our bootloader to confirm that success so we can do that really quickly TWRP it spits us out here we can just go home reboot bootloader and we can see that it has in fact removed the tampered flag and we are in fact back to a lock status so we have a locked bootloader and our tampered flag is uh, has been removed now it's very easy to just can you know toggle these back and forth as you choose as you need rather um, we can go right back into recovery and we're going to go ahead and just start that uh, bootloader reset tool once more choosing install and we'll zoom right through here and this time we don't need to remove tampered anymore because it's gone um, we're at a locked bootloader so if I want to flash a uh, different recovery or uh, do anything else we go ahead and unlock it and uh, unlock is the bottom option here so if you happen to select multiple things like say I I select relock bootloader and unlock because unlock is last that's always going to be the default meaning it will relock the bootloader but one second later it will go ahead and unlock it so we just want to unlock it here and we'll choose next and install and we see that because we had just run this before uh, the files that are used as part of this script are still in that uh, temporary environment and that is the need for us to go ahead and wipe the wipe cache again which I'll try to do as quickly as possible I forgot to keep holding down see a little bit of my splash screen that's all right also notice on the dark bootloader splash screen uh, we no longer have the unlocked symbol at the bottom because we do in fact have that locked bootloader now so we just go through and choose wipe advanced wipe Oops. Wipe our cache. It's very quick. Go back home. Back to install and choose that uh, bootloader reset tool zip file again. And now we can go back in here and our option unlock our bootloader because we wiped our cache no problem instantly does it we can finish up go home here and reboot directly to our bootloader and see that we now should be uh, unlocked and we see that's confirmed we are at an unlock status so there you have it it's very easy with this tool to just cycle through and lock and unlock your bootloader as well as remove the tampered flag if it's present thanks